Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, stopping by for the first time, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. My name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. It's a beautiful day here in the Hudson Valley. It's a teaser day. It's like 72 degrees outside right now, but I guarantee the next couple of days they're telling us rain, rain, rain. Oh, you have no idea how bad I want to go and get in my car and just go for a ride. But I know I can't. So I have to hold out on just a couple more weeks. All right, everybody, I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. Every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. Every single item in this video came from the same locations throughout the Hudson Valley, which is where I'm currently located, and that is in the state of New York. We've had so much going on around here. Earthquake, eclipse, snow, rain. Oh my goodness, the plants don't know whether to stay out or come back in, it's crazy. All right, so let's jump into some Dollar Tree finds. I'm so excited to finally sit down and spend some time with all of you. This is my happy place. All right, some more socks. They are just, they gave us a teaser with a whole bunch of socks and now there's like a whole bunch of different ones coming out. I've lost track. So as I see them, if I think if I had them or not, I don't even know at this point, I'm just grabbing them. All right, how about cup of noodles? Here we go. For those of you that are putting together things for either Mother's Day or Father's Day, all kinds of socks out there. I also found Kraft Mac and Cheese. I had some of this the other night. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Is it not good for you, but it was good. So grab some of those. How about some Sour Patch Kids? These are very, very colorful and they do have little Sour Patch Kids all over them. They're saying that they're crew socks and they say fits men's shoe size six to 12. Um, the next one here is Flaming Hot Cheetos. I love my Cheetos, but I don't like the hot ones. That's just not for me. All right, what about those of you who love your, see if I can do, you're all shook up. Uh -huh. That's not very good, is it? Okay, I found three pairs of different Elvis socks. I was like, what? So these are um, designed in Canada. They do say that they're official Elvis Presley. Um, it does say 2024, there's the logo on there. So this one here looks like this. Then they had this one that looked like this. And obviously, you know, you're getting a pair of socks and they're on these little fancy hangers. And then the third pair I found is that one right there. So for someone who may be an Elvis fan, this you cannot beat. I'm sure something like this is more than a buck and a coin at any store. I don't see a store name or anything on here like that. It just says 2024 Elvis.com. So there we go. That was a cool find. All right, let me just put those up over there. All right, now a few candles in the candle department. I needed some new candles. These are the luminescent candles and they are three ounces. This one is Tranquil. It's in this pretty glass jar. They also had one in the scent of Energy that's in this pretty teal. These are nice. The throw on them, eh, you know, they're okay in my opinion. Last but not least, this one is for balance. So these came from the um, Shoreline Kids the Shoreline Collection, where you're finding all your stuff um, that I showed you to basically decorate an entire beach house if you wanted to. It's got everything. All right, moving on. Where can you get laid for a buck and a coin? I'm telling you. <laughs> they had all these pretty flower lays and um, all just different ones. And I saw this one and it caught my eye because it just, you know, all these little pom-poms I thought were cute. You could take it apart, use it as a table decoration. I just thought it was fun. So yeah, I'm gonna wear it actually. It matches my green t-shirt. Okay, now they did have some new makeup. They always have new makeup. Well, not always, but most of the time. So I grabbed me some cool things. I found these and these were in the makeup department and I guess where else would they be? Um, this is a nail dotting tool brush and it's by the company Must Have Be. It looks just like this. So it's a two pack. And if you're wondering what this is all about, for anyone that gets their nails done or maybe does them themselves, they um, will dip this in paint and then put little dots or apply sequins to your nails or gemstones. So this is pretty cool. Um, two pieces, uh, nail dotting and tool brush. 
Then I found this, which is by the same company, Must Have Beauty, MHB. And this is a multi-purpose dual tip tools, which I thought was really cool. Also found more items by Ioni. This is Root 66 Shea Butter Lipstick in Pink Glow and looks just like that. Let's check this out. This one looks really pretty and I love Shea Butter. It's one of my favorites. This is definitely a full size tube. Oh, how cute is that? So here's the tube. I'm hoping you can see it with the light here. And then if you notice, the lipstick itself is in the shape of a heart, which is really cute. All right, so let's give it a swipe right here. Very pretty. Goes on very, very nice. There it is, very pretty color there. So that was that one. Then I found this one, which is Shea Butter Lipstick as well. And it's Weehoo! That's what I'm calling it anyways. Weehoo, weehoo. And this one is in Red Lily. Let's check this one out. Here's the packaging. It's pretty cool. All right. This one also has the uh, shape of a heart on the top, which is cool. This one, again, is Red Lily. I'm all banged up still. All right, here we go. Very nice. It goes on very, very smooth. This would be more for me. That would be probably just too much for me. I don't know. I guess it depends on what I was wearing and what I, you know, my makeup was all about. All right. I also found by Ioni these, which is Fat Lip Chubby Stick Flamingo Red. And it's got flamingos all over the package. Check it. Oh, Mary, if you're watching flamingos how cute is that i'm gonna leave that one sealed and then this here is a fat chubby stick this one is alabaster gold and it's griffith look at that i'm gonna open this up i want to see what this looks like i love the way they say fat stick so here it is in the packaging definitely Ooh, Amazon's dropping off something. Haha, <laughs> it might not be for me though. Um, there's the packaging itself there. Very pretty. So let's see what we can do over here. Not sure if you guys can see it. You can see all my dirt on my arm. My goodness, Beth. There it is right there. Look at all these age spots. Oh my gosh. I'll draw another line. You guys can see it right up there. <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm trying. Anyways, that's very, very pretty. Okay, so that's by Ioni. Now, also in the makeup department, I came across these little kits by Sassy and Chic. You get two pieces in here, and it's basically two little, it reminds me of two, oh, somebody else is delivering something, two little mini caboodles. Um, you get this size and this size right here. You can store your contacts, um, a little bit of makeup, depending on how thick the makeup is. I don't have my scissors in front of me, and I'm not going to be able to get that apart. They had them in a couple of different colors. I opted for the, like, pinky purple one. They had, like, a reddish, orangeyish type one, um, and there was one other color. I just don't remember what it was. My bad. All right. <clears throat> excuse me finally came across these razors i've been looking all over for these i've seen so many youtubers haul them they're so pretty and these are by assured they they're three blades but they look so pretty aren't they just adorable i don't know i mean i'm just shaving my fuzz off parts but why not be pretty about it right i don't know just my opinion okay they also had these by la colors another um big like end cap that they were putting up and this is la colors tropical bloom collection i found some new mascaras this one is aqua c let's check this out it should be a bluish color um i remember adding blue to my mascara back in the 80s but every now and then a little color is pretty so there's the actual tube i'm hoping it's blue yes it's blue so there you go let me just dot some so you could see the kind of blue it is. It's that um, cobalt blue, which I love. There it is right there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. 
Great for little accents, especially in the summertime, because when the light hits it, it kind of glows a little. And then I found one in tropical purple, and you know darn well we're ripping this baby right on open. Purple's really pretty too. So is gold, so is silver. There's all kinds of colors you can do. I use it as my accent though. I always do my eyes like in the black first, and then I put this over that, because I don't feel, in my opinion, that the color is strong enough to pull off by itself, not for me anyways. All right, so there's the wand and there's the purple. Oh yeah. I'm just dabbing a little on my hand so you guys can see the color. But there's the purple right there. Really, really pretty. Oh my gosh. All right, so that's by LA Colors. One other thing I did find by LA Colors and that is Tropical Bloom and this is called Cruise Control. It's a four pack of eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, I love the name. We're gonna rip this right open. I love the name Cruise Control. I think that's so cool. All right, let's see. Now you're not gonna get a brush or anything like that, but there is your four colors right there. There's a great shot. I'm loving, there's a better shot without the cover on there. I'm loving this purple. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> where can I go for you guys? How about right here? Can you guys see it? Oh, now I got my neighbor mowing. Oh my goodness. There it is right there. I'm not sure how good you can see that. Let's go to the next color. I should probably do this with better light. So well, there's the purple. There's the pink I'm putting on. I can't really see it that well. And I'm doing a horrible job here. There you go. Anyways, you get the idea. Very, very pretty. I'm going to go outside, be running around. My neighbors are going to be looking at me like, oh my God, what is that girl doing now? Going out in face masks, scaring the dogs. It's crazy. All right, let's move over to a few things in the summer household department I came across. You know, we used to get three in these a package for a buck. And now they're a buck and a coin and we're only getting one. And it kind of blows, but they're cute. These are the color changing tumblers. So here's what we're gonna start with and that's what we're gonna end up with. I don't know, I haven't seen them work yet. I haven't tried them. This one says summer vibes. Your straw pretty much matches what you have here. And then I did pick up a purple one because we're supposed to end up like that when there's fluids in there. You get a pink straw, your straws do stay in the top because they have that little stopper thing on there. These do twist on and off. And this one says summer vibes as well, but it's done in the pink to match the straw. This was kind of cool in the housewares department. It is a pest free living fruit fly trap. Just add fruit. So it's this little cup, which I think the cup itself is super cute. We get lots of fruit flies around here because there's so many people growing vegetables and lots of apple orchards around the corner from me. And fruit flies are inevitable, no matter if you have fruit in the house or not. So evidently, this is a cool little cup, isn't it? I just thought the cup was cute. And there's what happens. So you evidently open this up and you put a piece of fruit in the cup. You put this little strainer thing back in here, you seal this up, and once the fruit fly goes inside the cup, it's not going to get back out of the cup because there's no way for it to come out of that dispenser. So you can sit and look at all your fruit flies in a cup. I mean, you could just leave a piece of fruit on the table and that would happen. But yeah, I'm going to give it a try. Put it in the window. Um, you know, obviously not where everybody in the world sees it. But if they did, they probably might not know what it is since it's so pretty. But I'm going to give it a try. Hey, if it works, that's all that matters. All right. Also in the housewares department, I thought this was a great buy. I do a lot of work out in the yard. As you can see, I'm filthy. Um, these are... They only had small and large, so I grabbed the large ones. These are high visibility grip coated gloves and they're three packs for working out in the yard, digging it. Am I not gonna be able to get this open really? Um, for working out in the yard, digging in the grass, just picking up junk, cleaning up from fall and winter. This is a great buy. So you're gonna get three packs. Now, these are definitely, you're going to see those glowing. These are the large, and I thought they would fit me much better than, obviously, the small wood. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, here's what it looks like. You've got your rubber coating here. They fit me. I couldn't have gotten better because anything smaller, def, the small would definitely not have fit. So, again, you're getting three pairs in a package. I got two packages. I thought that was an amazing buy. 
Alrighty, what else do I have to share? I did get this in the toy department. You can hear me about her outside. She's in the backyard. It is this cute little fuzzy alligator. They had them in blue and they had them in like um, an orangey green. I just didn't like it. So I grabbed this for her. It's kind of got like a, um, what's those, what's that material I'm trying to think of? Corduroy. And it does have squeaks in it and it's got crunchies in it. So add another toy to her collection because she knows when mommy comes home from the Dollar Tree, she, I put the bags on the floor. She's in them, all in them, looking for something for her because she knows she's getting something. Spoiled, but I love her to death. All right, the other items that I just wanted to share with you in the sweets and treat department, hadn't seen these before. These are the Jolly Rancher Gummies Sour Lemon Stand. Um... Sour Cherry, a Sour Lime Aid, and Sour Strawberry Lemonade. These are the soft ones. Hadn't seen those before, so I grabbed them. And then I came across these Dunkin' Donuts, or excuse me, back up. Whoop. Dunkin' Chocolates, but we all know. Dunkin' Chocolates, Donut Flavored Filled Chocolates, Brownie Batter, Milk Chocolate Shell with Brownie Batter Flavored Cream Filling oh 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 has anyone tried these yet i did get two we're gonna open one up because i really want to see what this looks like i'm not going to eat it right now but i want to share with all of you i do notice here on the front of the package that it right here in this little itty bitty print it says that it's not um to scale so basically what the packaging looks like and what you're going to get are two different things at least they're honest about it right all right let's get into these Oh, they look like little donuts. How cute is that? Now, that's adorable. All right, so let's get into one of these. It's a nice size. There it is. Super cute. I'm going to try to break this open without getting it everywhere. There we go. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Ooh, should I try it? Of course, I'm going to try it. Oh my. Okay. It's warm. It's already melting. Yep. It's got my approval. Good stuff. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and now I need something to drink. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. These are yummy. Mmm. Bye for now. <laughs>